What's going on everybody? You see a Jaguar back here with JinJag.com and before I get into this video I just want to plug something real quick. I finally got an Instagram so you can follow me on Instagram at UCF underscore Jaguar. It's the same as my Twitter handle right below me and yeah it's going to be fun. I'm going to start posting a lot of Instagram videos and uh, different photos and stuff like that so yeah that should be fun to follow so definitely give me a follow on that. And now to get into this video, one player on the Jaguars that's been bringing about a lot of different trade conversations is Jaguars defensive end Dante Fowler Jr. Now in this video, I will discuss my opinion on whether or not it will be a good idea to trade this man. So let's get it. So Dante Fowler Jr. has kind of had an interesting career here with the Jaguars. We drafted the number three overall in the 2015 NFL Draft. And just a week after we drafted him, the guy tore his ACL in rookie mini camps, basically ending his whole entire rookie season. So he was essentially redshirted, uh, brought back in during the 2016 season. But he really did not do too, too well. He was kind of underwhelming. He only got like three or four sacks on the year. Uh, he only started one game as, you know, Yannick Ngakwe uh, came over as a starter for the rest of the season after, you know, Dante Fowler only started that first game. And a lot of people were kind of putting the bus label on him. However, he did terrific in the 2017 NFL season as a third down specialist, accumulating eight sacks, two forced fumbles, two fumble recoveries, and a touchdown. Then this offseason, the Jaguars had a big decision to make, and that was whether to exercise his fifth-year option to where, uh, I forget the number, but it was going to be $15-plus plus million uh, guaranteed to him off of the cap. And the Jaguars decided not to pick that up, so he will officially become a free agent in the 2019 free agency period. So since Dante Fowler only has one more year left on his contract, uh, a lot of people were saying, hey, should we go ahead and trade this guy so we can get him uh, for something while he's only really got one year left on his contract? And uh, the Jaguars most likely aren't going to be signing him to another contract just with Yannick and Gakwe coming up. And just when you don't exercise players' fifth-year option, uh, there's not it's not very likely that, or at least history shows it's not very likely that they will sign him to a new deal after the season is over. So when I think about whether or not the Jaguars should trade Dante Fowler, the answer is actually quite easy for me, and the answer is hell no, we should not trade Dante Fowler Jr. I mean, uh, you know, first of all, I saw like a Bridgewater article come out recently about, you know, oh, the Jaguars should maybe trade Dante Fowler for Bridgewater because, you know, it's clear the coaching staff had to free to see the draft that, you know, they clearly really want a quarterback up, right? No, that's not happening. We're not trading for a quarterback who hasn't played a meaningful snap since 2015. And Dante Fowler's role with the team is actually pretty valuable. I mean, even though he only really comes in on third down, he was very, very productive for us on third down. You know I mean? Eight sacks during the season. And when it comes down to it, pass rush is so, so important. And you can't have enough guys, on, enough depth on a defensive line. We saw that last year. We were being toted as like the best defensive line in football. And what do we do at the trade period? We trade for Marcel Darius, another big uh, addition to our defensive line. You know, this offseason, what was the best position on the team? Defensive line. We go out and get a first round pick uh, in a defensive lineman in Taven Bryan. Uh, pass rush is so important. There's not many great pass rushers in this league. And uh, Dante Fowler, I mean, you know, eight sacks last year, that's tremendous. Uh, two forced fumbles, that's also really, really good. And you also had to think of it this way. Look at the look at the AFC Championship game. When Yannick Ngakwe and Calais Campbell got hurt, who was it that stepped up and got pressure on Tom Brady? That was Dante Fowler Jr. He got two sacks in that AFC Championship game. You know, if... We all kind of feel gifted that we have a guy like Yannick Ngakwe that, you know, really doesn't get injured that much. And, you know, Dante Fowler Jr. and Yannick Ngakwe are two players that have very, very similar uh, playing styles where they're both uh, powerful and they're both speedy. They can really bend the edge really well. But what if Yannick Ngakwe somehow goes down? The only defensive ends we really have are Dewan Smoot and Calais Campbell. And 
uh, it's just not enough depth at that position. And uh, Dante Fowler, just his value is kind of underplayed. I mean, sure, he only has one more year left on his team. Let's get something for him while we can. But you know what we have going on in 2018? We have a Super Bowl run. We've got to, we are in a Super Bowl window. We have to capture this moment as we can. You know what I mean? Next year, we'll probably be drafting uh, a defensive end to ultimately replace Dante Fowler Jr. Just because we're probably not going to be able to pay him. Uh, that's just what happens when your team becomes good. You have players that you're not able to re-sign. But how do you stay good? You basically draft to replace that kind of production. And, you know, we're probably going to be, if I have a wish list of guys that I want to uh, re-sign to big contracts, it's going to be Jalen Ramsey, Yannick Ngakwe, Miles Jack. The number four is probably Dante Fowler Jr. So, Dante Fowler has a huge role on this team. Uh, you know, he got eight sacks plus, you know, another three sacks in the postseason. As a third down specialist, that's really good play you're getting out of Dante Fowler in the limited snaps that he does get. Now, I would not expect the Jaguars to trade Dante. I mean, if they were to get a first round pick or maybe even a second round pick from a crappy team, you know, I would maybe consider it. But, you know, we are in this Super Bowl window. Uh, we are in win now mode. Dante Fowler is a huge player, a huge asset to be able to have on there, to be able to cycle in and uh, get some, you know, fresh pressure in there on a the quarterback coming off the edge. So yeah, those are my thoughts on whether we should trade Dante Fowler or not. The answer is a big hell no from me. And I know a lot of people are kind of talking about moving this guy to linebacker. That's not going to happen. We're not going to move him to the strong side linebacker spot just because um, a third down pass rushing defensive end is a lot more important than a first down uh, strong side linebacker. Uh, it just is, you know, got to get pressure on the quarterback, get them off the field on the most important down in football. And uh, Dante Fowler, um, I, what I hope from him this season is that he has a tremendous year and then forces the Jaguars to make a tough decision. And then he ultimately moves on probably to another team and signs a fat, fat contract. Because if so, that will mean he has a very, very productive year for us in 2018. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching my video. Those are my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. And be sure to follow your boy on Instagram. And that's all I got. This is UCF Jaguar with GenJag.com. And I'm out.